Good Sunday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We have, again, some drizzly conditions across the Mid-South for early this morning. We don't have a lot going on in the way of major problems where travel is concerned, but we may see, again, the possibility of a few slowdowns for this morning, and that's really going to be about it. Time is just past 8 o'clock on Sunday morning, and again, if you are just joining us, we have, again, some slick roadways out there, not because of ice, but again, we've got the possibility of doing some more areas of rain slowly, drizzly across the Mid-South as we get into the course of the rest of the day today. So if you have any plans for travel, you're going to have to deal with that as we get into the rest of the morning. But so far, nothing showing up in the way of precipitation, in the way of anything heavy, nothing severe, and definitely nothing showing up in the way of frozen activity either. So again, good news on that. But if you are traveling, this is a day to share your, to get a little bit uh, less in the way of a hurry, if at all possible, out there, just to be on the safe side. PM, sorry, is that PM? PM 189. Thanks for joining us on Twitter and Periscope this morning. Give me just about two shakes here, and we'll get the rest of our viewers coming in through. And again, we're having trouble with the connection. Okay, Facebook, we are now live, it looks like. So things decently quiet so far into the Mid-South. Thanks for everybody for joining us on Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook for this morning on our main WREG page. We've got, again, some plenty of rainfall out there for right now, but that'll be dwindling as we go into the course of the rest of the day, so stick around for more information about that. Kind of drizzly out there this morning, and that should be continuing into the rest of the morning. Heidelberg Elementary in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Got some rain on the camera lens and not too many leaves left on the trees as we head a little bit closer toward wintertime. We're about a little bit less than five days away from the official start of winter, believe it or not, as the seasons continue to change out there. Uh, Rhonda Alfuso Burns, welcome to the show. Sharika Nicole Baker, also on Facebook. Thanks for joining us for this morning. From the very quiet campus of Ole Miss, finals are over with as of about a week or so ago. Student Union area still under construction at this point in time, but a lot of extra parking spaces at on the, in the, on the Oxford campus so far this morning. Looking at the area around Windyke Country Club, golf carts lined up and ready to go, and a few hardy stalwart golfers out there this morning as the clouds begin to break up by just a little bit over parts of the area, but we're still going to continue to see some drizzle out there. Live view of I-40 and Sycamore View, and of course the flyover. If you are traveling this morning, again, starting to see the increase in the amount of volume of traffic out there. Vic 5078, thanks for joining us on Periscope and Twitter this morning. And everybody signing in on Facebook. Again, drop your location and your temperature or wind speeds or whatever you've got in the way of reports down toward the bottom portion of your screen. And we'll share those along with everybody on there. Again, thanks to everybody for joining us so far this morning. Again, if you are driving, this is going to be something to consider. Again, just a little bit of extra time and a lot less speed on the roadway, a lot more space between you and the vehicles in front of you. The roadways aren't exactly soaked. They're more damp than anything else, but that changes the whole physics of driving. Slowing down on roadways like this, you need to have a lot more space because there's less friction on the roadway, and this is not a day you want to go rushing through stuff, especially where it's actively raining. When you get that water between the tire and the roadway surface, that's called hydroplaning, and that's just like driving on ice with zero friction. Dangerous and deadly so again, let's be careful out there. Let's slow it down. Speaking of which, taking a look at West Memphis, the 40-55 split just north of the Kroger on the other side of Missouri Street and showing traffic light to moderate moving along. Again, some areas of rain on the camera lens out there. It's a little breezy out there for this morning. Less breezy right now, so not much of a wind chill, but we have had wind chills easily down into around the lower 30s from points in time in the Mid-South, so there is going to be that chill out there throughout the course of the rest of the morning. Delays this morning, looking back toward a drizzly Memphis International Airport outside of some scattered showers. We have no delays to report according to the FAA, and likewise seeing good travel conditions if you're catching that flight later on this morning from MIA. Not seeing, again, a major problem here. Again, so far looking good, but could be some delays. Usually are, especially on the East Coast area, and if you'd like to know more about this, go to WRAG.com or go to fly.faa.gov. Great place to go to to get information about travel conditions out there and various connecting and major airports out across the country. Storm Tracker 3S radar, again, not seeing a lot of activity. We do see, again, some scattered light showers starting to redevelop just north and west 
of the metro area, and those are drifting across the Mississippi right now. So Covington, Osceola, Golden Lake, back over to just south of Ripley. Blytheville picking up again a little bit of that activity, but just very light scattered showers so far on Storm Tracker 3S. The heaviest rainfall by far has left the Mid-South and is now making its way over the Tennessee River, dwindling as it heads into southwestern Middle Tennessee. Still some decent showers over portions of North Mississippi, but again, those are also continuing to dwindle as for much of the area for right now. So we're just not seeing a lot of major amounts of rainfall. But this is more than enough to slow things down out there with the rainfall potential into parts of the Mid-South area. We're not detecting anything in the way of lightning, so we haven't had any thunderstorms to talk about at this point in time. But once again, we could see that possibly, maybe, into the next couple of days. We'll show you that on the seven-day forecast coming up in just a little bit. Going a little bit more wide-scale, regional radar showing again rain mixed with snow between Kansas City and Omaha down to the Gulf of Mexico. A little bit more stronger conditions here between Jackson and New Orleans, so a little bit more heavy rainfall traveling down toward Macomb, Covington, and down toward the Big Easy. So we're not seeing, again, too much in the way of major problems here. And no severe weather. We do not have anything taking place in the way of thunderstorms at this time, but the heaviest rainfall looks like it has left the Mid-South. I would not be surprised to see a little bit more in the way of rainfall possibly redeveloping in the way of light scattered showers back to the west of the Mid-South area through about Arkansas, southern Missouri, maybe even down to around areas of northern Louisiana. It doesn't look like much, but again, it could be enough to wet the roadways down once again. And if that's the case, if you are traveling, that could be something to take a look at there. So please keep that in mind if you are going to be hitting the roadways for later on. But as of right now, the bulk of the rainfall is gone and will continue to head away from us. Temperatures at this point in time and rainfall amounts on WeatherNet 3 at the WeatherBugs recording stations, just shy of an inch at West Memphis at the airport, two thirds of an inch around Heidelberg Elementary, where we just showed you the camera just a little while ago. Lee County School District in Mariana, Arkansas, just over three quarters of an inch and right at three quarters of an inch around Crestview Middle School in Covington, Tennessee. Chilly this morning, temperatures still in the lower 40s and should stay in the lower 40s as we go into early this afternoon. A few mid to upper 40s out there, pushing 50 down toward Clarksdale by lunchtime today. By the time we get into early this afternoon, most of the rainfall should be gone. A few leftover drizzles around Corinth, Mississippi, and that's going to be about the worst of the activity. Rest of the Mid-South throughout the rest of the evening by News Channel 3 at 5, 60 minutes coming up at 6, depending on how late NFL football goes. We will see again the potential of temperatures back in the upper 40s to the lower 50s and staying that way into around sunset. Not that we're going to see that much of it with the cloud cover out there for today. By News Channel 3 at 10, temperatures back in the mid to upper 40s and going to continue to see again the potential for some cool conditions into tomorrow. Todd Demers forecast coming up bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak, so stay tuned for more on that. Now, once again, if you didn't tune in for weather overtime yesterday, we spelled things out about how things are going to go in the extended forecast. This is going to go all the way through Christmas, but there's going to be some twists and turns coming through here, so stick around. We'll explain this as we go along. Chances of rain dwindling today. Not expecting rain, mild conditions into tomorrow. Staying mild, the rain returns late in the morning on Tuesday and goes throughout the rest of the day. Best chance of rainfall coming up soon will be on Wednesday. Staying mild, very mild for this time of the year, mid to upper 50s to lower 60s. That's good news for travelers. Uh, we, we tell you seven. Thanks a lot for joining us on Insta or uh, Periscope and uh, Twitter for this morning. Now, as we go toward, again, next weekend, this is where the models, again, start to cause some problems out there. Models, again, the computers that run the numbers and run them over and over and over again with the data that they have do a good job of letting us know what happens. But not all the time are they going to line up properly. Sometimes they're going to go all over the place, and that's what's happening about this next weekend. Things are going to be changing, and the model's just not in good agreement at this time. So this, what you see here, is my forecast that, again, kind of walks that middle ground that says this is what I think is going to be happening using those numbers for right now. It's a guarantee that these numbers are going to change. 
best thing you're going to be able to do is to make certain that you stay tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated on what's going on out there. Uh, weeks, week Telly 7, thanks a lot for joining us, and hello back to you on Periscope as well. Again, looking into around the area for right now, let's see, so what is this, Joe Selman's Burger? Can we make it rain extra amount on those bushes to make it easy to dig? Well, we'll do what we can with the rainfall out there. Uh, not much going on for today, mainly just drizzle. That's going to be about it. Now, right before the holidays happen, again, as we go into Christmas and beyond for the last week of the year, almost there, believe it or not, rain chances best on Saturday. Cooler as some colder air spills on through. We'll get back up into the lower 50s for Christmas itself, but there will be that slight chance of a shower out there. And again, some showers possible, maybe some drizzle, pretty chilly on Christmas Eve, heading out to the church services and the kids' displays and everything else going on uh, into the Mid-South. Now, this is where it gets kind of interesting right here as we go toward next Tuesday. Large, powerful punch of cold air is slated to move across the country from the Cascades, across the Rockies, into the Mid-States, and into around just north of the Mid-South area. If this amount of cold air makes its way through a little quicker, which is possible with these things. We could see these numbers here a lot colder, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. Add to that, that cold air right there could change some of that moisture into a rain, snow, sleet mixture, depending on locations. But that forecast depends greatly on when this cold air is going to be moving on through. This is 7 to 10 days out. So again, this is more certain on this because it's a lot closer. Farther out you go, the computer models start to spread out in their disagreement, and we see less and less certainty out there. The one thing we do see is that they don't agree on this, which means we're going to have to wait until that day gets a little bit closer to us for us to be able to see what goes on. So is snow possible? Yes. Is it going to be likely? Doubtful. Are we going to be seeing a white Christmas? Odds are not good of that to begin with. Again, we've got about a 3% chance of getting a statistical white Christmas around here. That's about one inch of snow plus at this time of the year. And I don't think that's really going to be happening. Now, could we see some snow in and around Christmas? Right now, the variability is there close enough to where we could see something like that. Maybe mixed in with some rain, maybe mixed in with some sleet, maybe just plain rainfall. But once again, the main thing to remember at this time is that you need to stay tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated on this throughout the rest of the weekend and into this next week with Tim, Jim, and Todd, and of course myself on social media. We'll keep you updated on all this going on as we keep you, again, updated as to what's happening for the Mid-South. But again, for those of you hoping for a white Christmas, not good for us to begin with. If you'd like to see more about what our statistical odds are of getting a white Christmas, go to wreg.com slash weather. Scroll down beneath the forecast, and there's a link to the National Climatic Data Center and the odds of whatever part of the country that you may be in watching this from of your getting a white Christmas. Here in the Mid-South area, it's about a 3% statistical chance, so it's not good to begin with. More of my forecast. If you can't catch it on the computer or on air, join me on the radio, Oldies 102.3 or Country 92.5 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. And, of course, don't forget to join us on join me on Bob and Josh coming up Monday through Friday morning, 8 to 10 a.m., a.m. 730, Yahoo Sports Radio in the Memphis metro area, mainly sports chat but a lot of great other guests from around Memphis and the Mid-South and throughout the course of the rest of the area. So news, sports, uh, weather, current events, all kinds of great stuff. And if you can't catch them on air, join them on TalkBackLiveNetwork.org. And we'll be glad to have you along for more as we get your week started and as we head toward the holidays coming up a little bit later on. I'll be keeping a very close eye on the forecast into the course of the rest of the weekend. And we'll have another update on weather overtime coming up tonight at about 8 o'clock, same time, same channel. So if you'd like to know more, stick around for all that. Questions, concerns, ideas, contact me on any of these social media networks. And again, you can join us at wreg.com slash weather, and we'll keep you updated as to what's going on with the forecast over the course of the next several days. Great to have you along for this morning. Thanks to everybody for tuning in. And if you have any questions, again, feel free to contact me, and I'll be glad to answer whatever questions I can out there. Also, weather pictures. If you have them, send them. We'll show them on our social media networks, and be glad to have you 
along for the ride on that as well. If you're in the Mid-South, if you're out of the Mid-South, join us again as often as you can and send in those pictures. We'd love to show them to everybody, so stick around for more with News Channel 3 on air and online. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for this morning's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and a lot more coming up later on tonight on News Channel 3 on air and online, so stick around.